Hi friend. Thought I'd do you a little video of what's going on. Still, still a lot to do, but we've been working hard at it. Um, I went and picked up these beautiful ferns today, which is the last of them. They said they wouldn't have any more. And uh, we've actually got a shortage of ferns. Can you believe that? <laughs> They've had their nursery broke into every night for the past five days. And uh, people just still in ferns and their little wagons and all kind of things. But anyway, I guess it's the day and the time. I wanted to show you I got these planted. I got these planted last Wednesday, I believe it was. These are Cosmos. That's the seashell blend. Then I've got um, artichokes planted right here. And I'm not sure if that little dude right there, if he is an artichoke. Oh, I see one. Yes. Look at there. Right there. If I can just keep the birds out of them. <laughs> I'm having a time with the birds. Um, I did get covers for the strawberries. But anyway, I've got um, dill planted there, trying to keep everything um, like a little variety in each bed. And I've got chives planted here. And then here's our little zinnias that I got planted um, last Wednesday. And then we got in this bed. This is the bed that I think the birds, because when we were out here Saturday and looked at these beds, they had little little green things popped out everywhere, but now they're gone. Or maybe I'm confused and it was the other bed. I don't know. But right here, we've got zinnias too. So if they've got a preference, they're not liking zinnias because they're leaving them. <laughs> there are some more zinnias. And then we've got, um, oh, uh, I think this is, this is not lamb's ear. This is, um, oh, it's a flower filler and I cannot even remember the name of it. That's sad. Dusty Miller. There we go. It came to me. We've got onions planted here. And... They're coming up. I see. I planted them, I think, Thursday or Friday. And then this is sweet potatoes. I don't know how they're going to do. I healed them up, and they're doing better since I healed them. They looked really, really bad um, when I first put them out here for about a week. So they, they're looking a little better. And I planted that thing, and it's just going wild. And I'm not even, let's see. I'm not sure about this flower. You may know, but I don't know anything about the Arizona glow. But I still got his tag in there, so I know how to take care of him in case I forget. And this is our red potatoes. This is um, one of two beds that we've got. And then we've got uh, our strawberries they're doing pretty good um, the brown on the leaves we finally figured out they were getting too much water so we cut back the bed cut back the water on this bed and um, it hasn't the only water it's had was from the rain over uh, Saturday afternoon and Sunday so they're looking a whole lot better they were just looking so puny and pitiful and you can look at our Brussels sprouts. We have had worms. I've sprayed twice already or powdered them down. And I've picked um, a worm off of them. I got that Saturday. And then I sprayed uh, Thuricide on it uh, Sunday afternoon. So maybe... Maybe that'll help. I hope so. I hope they don't eat up everything. But then we've got squash here. 
we planted some um, uh, little yellow roses on the arbor over here. And they did have some blooms on them, but I guess because of the transplanting, they, they haven't bloomed since we put them in. So, but they're climbing the arbor very well. Here's this side of the greenhouse. I've got some concrete pieces that I've got to get out there in that bed, but I cannot lift them. They are so, I can't even lift that lid over there. It's so heavy. But this is this side. I got to get them two shrubs planted in those pots. And, um, we put that one in that big concrete pot and I brought my ferns out here, my sun ferns. And I brought them out um, Friday. So they're doing okay. I'm gonna leave them out here as long as they're doing all right. Them poor little, them poor little dudes right there. They were struggling in the greenhouse along like with the avocado tree. I brought the avocado tree um, to the house two weeks ago and it's like a new plant. It don't like the greenhouse. <laughs> but anyway, we've got these out here. Everything, everything, most everything except the ones that I've just brought out of the greenhouse like um, that one and this one. I don't have water run to it yet and I've got to hook it up. And then I've got these. I think, I think... Oh, I cannot remember the name of this plant. Anyway, I've got four of those that I've got to get in the ground. The, there was a bad wind that come through and knocked all of their blooms off. And they were beautiful. They looked like hydrangeas. They were just so full. And I don't think it's viburnum. It might be viburnum, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's viburnum though. But this is, that's how big that pot is. It is huge. I wanted to plant a succulent garden in it or either in that one over there. And that lid goes to something that we're putting in the garden on the side of the house. The house it looks pitiful from lack of attention. And then we've got, I got all my pots. You see them lined up through there. I've got all of them planted except that center one. I've got to plant it. And um, I've got to run water to the um, geraniums that I've got hanging here and down there, down there and here. So I've got to run some irrigation to them and probably run irrigation to these ferns right here that I haven't done. We run irrigation to these beds on um, Saturday. I've still got to plant those. I've got some carrots and um, that I want to get in the ground. And um, what else did I buy? Something else. I can't remember. But anyway, we got those beds done. Got me some okra over there. Got to get the okra in the ground. And um, what is this that I picked up? Zucchini. That is zucchini. And this is viburnum, I think. Uh, verbenas. That's verbenas. You probably knew that. I planted those little things out there. Todd won't let me plant all the way across there because of putting the fence up. But it's going to be a while before we get the fence. And there's my eggplant. They look sad, too which they're doing something here. I don't know if that's something eating on that or if that's just the way that plant does. It don't, I don't know, it looks like it's torn, maybe from the wind. I'm not sure, just trying to learn it all. And this is our tomato crop and our basil. Got me some um, zinnias. And our cabbage, same thing with the worm. I pulled two worms off of this last week. 
powdered them down and I sprayed them good Sunday afternoon. So maybe that's gonna help, I hope. And we got some collards over here and I was telling them that there ain't no way I'm gonna eat them worm infested collards. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be pretty for um, family's party if they'll straighten up. I might lose them before the 22nd of May. I don't know. Anyway, I got my um, shrubs. Haven't decided exactly where I'm going to put them yet. I've got Oh, I think we bought, I think we bought 30 of them. I wanted to do that little cottage garden, I think is what it's called. Anyway, got to be careful where I plant everything so we can get water. And we did, I don't know if you can see them out there. See the... out there by the road we planted 